Today is the 31st of January 2024 and this will be our 43rd um, uh, video on some possible questions that you might find in your exams. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed and if you haven't uh, uh, done that already I will encourage you to do it okay I will appreciate it a lot and if you can follow us um, share our video like give us some nice comments I will really really appreciate it okay now please follow my notes slash scripts I will normally write that in the comment section so for instance that is 22 over 7 okay here is 22 so um, that is pi okay so if uh, you hear something other than that please go by the notes Beware of scammers, please. Don't fall for them. If it's not in the video, then it's not coming from me. If it's edited, you will know, okay? Because you, most of you are good at this computer stuff. If it sounds fishy, you can ask. I won't leave a message on the comment section um, asking you to do donations and stuff. Okay, most of the scammers, all they want is, they say, is to donation to this and that. So immediately you start hearing, can you donate to this? It, don't fall for it. It's not coming from me. Okay. Watch last video for recap. It will help you a lot. Now, I started today. I wanted to show you because we are doing some non-calculator um, questions. And I wanted to show you how some tricks can help you because here you don't have your calculator so if you know how to maneuver your way around with a calculator it will help you a lot so for instance yesterday like this we had a question in pi 16 pi and i think 25 pi so the pi can cancel out so you can have 16 over 25 or 25 over 16 depending on what you want to find okay so um if you have a non-calculator paper paper the figures will be such that you should be able to cancel out okay or you should be able to add easily and cancel out but if you don't know how to do that at times you might start and stop halfway so i wanted to discuss this with you um in the starter today okay you can use fraction version of pi pi can also be 22 over 7 so for instance if you have 7 pi you can instead of doing pi as 3.142 etc because here you don't have your calculator you can use the fraction form of pi so 7 times 22 over 7 okay so straight away you have your answer as 22 okay now 14 pi so you can have 14 times 
22 over 7. Again, if you can cancel the 7, it gives you 2. So now here, you have 44. No, 42. Okay. Pi r squared is equal to uh, when r is 4 centimeters. So r squared will be 16. And your answer will be pi. Questions like this, they might ask you to leave your answer as pi. Because if they ask you to leave your answer, you don't have a calculator, okay? So, they might ask you to leave your answer in pi, okay? So, these are the status I wanted to share with you today, okay? So, like, you look out for some of these things in your non-calculator paper because it will help you a lot okay but you don't have the calculator anyway so um, you have to try and solve the question and get the full marks today is also a non-calculator higher paper so you are not allowed to use the calculator okay so example a head of school like a head teacher does a survey of year 9 year 10 and 11 students here is the total number of students in each year group as shown in the table below so in the school they have a total of 253 235 year 9, a total of 215, year 10s, a total of 250, year 11, okay? Now, the head takes a stratified sample of 70 students by each year group. So, what she did was, in total, of the year 10, year 9, year 10, year 11, she decided to choose um, 70 students. Okay. Now, in each year group, so she does it according to her merits. Maybe uh, P, uh, by uh, students who are performing well or by students uh, who scored high marks or by students who are not performing well that is her own she stratified it it is a stratified sample maybe this student some school from year 9 upwards you are allowed to take some GCSEs okay so maybe she's trying to get some people for extra tuition we don't know but she went out made a decision to pick 70 students okay so by this sample sampling stratified we've done a video on that okay complete the next table and show the number of students in each year group they had samples okay so this size was empty so i had to do that so i'm going to show you how i got it it's how I got 23 or 24, 22 or 21, and 25. In all, we should have a total of 70 students. So now, what did I do? This is how I worked for the table. So a total of year 9 year 10 and year 11 students now if you look at the table here 235 add 215 add 
250. Look at the numbers again. It's non-calculator. Okay. So 35 add 15 is 50. Add another 50 is 100. But you have 200, 200, 200. So that's 600. So in total, you have 700 students in year 9, year 10, and year 11. Okay. These are some of the tricks you need to learn. Okay. So now, we didn't use the calculator for that. So now, here, I've just explained to you 235 add 215 add 250 is 700 okay now for year 9 235 over 700 times 70 okay because she wants to choose 70 students now how many 70s do you have in 710 now, if you go by the decimal rule, 235 divided by 10 will give you 23.5, okay? Now, she can either choose 23 or 24 students in year 9. She has a choice. So that is why um, in year 9, is either 24 or 23. Now in year 10, 215 divided by total of the three year groups, 700 times 70. Okay, now 70 goes into 700 10 times. Now 215 divided by 10 will give you 21.5 so again she'll either go for 21 or 22 students because she can't do 21.5 students okay these are real people in year 11 is 250 divided by 700 times 70 again okay as we have established. So, 70 goes into 700, 10. 250 divided by 10, the 10, so you have 25. Now, in year 11, 25 is okay, okay? But we need to look at year nine and year 10. Year nine, if she chooses 24 then she has to choose 21 and then 25 for year 11 to add up 70 so she can either choose 24 21 and 25 students so year 9 24 year 10 21 and year 11 25 Okay, so that's why I have here the sample size will either be 24, 21, or 25 for year 9, year 10. If she chooses year 9, 24, and then she chooses year 10, 22, and then year 11, 25, she is going to get 71 students. Okay, but she has set a limit of 70. So if she chooses 24 for year 9, then she has to choose 21 for year 10. And then 25 for year 11. Or she will choose 23 for year 9. 22 for year 10 and then 25 which will also add up to 70 so here she, if she even runs up 
what the ABA is at the end of the day she has chosen um, 70 students so she will either do year 9 24 year 10 21 and then year 11 25 year 11 whatever you do she's going to get 25 anyway okay if you use the number of pupils in year 11 yet the other choices 23 year nines 22 year tens and then 25 year 11s okay so whatever she chooses it should add up to 70. so again as i said she can choose 24 and then choose 22 and 25 it will be more than uh 70 okay so you should understand that before okay but everything i did on this question i didn't have to use the calculator i didn't have to now this one also is a higher non-calculator paper they say solve 64 2 to the power 3 okay it will put some people off so first of all i would look at the 64 critically 64 is 8 times 8 okay without considering the power 2 over 3 now 8 times 8 we can still break it further 8 times 8 is 4 times 2 times 4 times 2 is equal to 64 okay this is why we did factors and all those things in the beginning please they are very important go back and watch okay 64 again 4 times 2 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 okay and then 4 times 2 again will be 2 times 2 times 2 so now we have 2 to the power 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 64 can be written as 2 to the power 6 so this is there's the 64 now what do we do to 2 to the power 3 so we know 64 is 2 to the power 6 and then we have another power 2 to the power 3 okay so 6 into bracket 2 over 3 which is the same as 6 is multiplying true but we have these two here okay how many threes do you have in six two so two times two is four so we've reduced 64 two to the power three okay to two times uh, two to the power four here okay to the power four which is two times two times two times two two times two is four times two is eight times two is what sixteen so this sixty four two to the power three without using a calculator becomes sixteen okay so these are the things you should do without your calculator so if they give you a question in the non-calculator paper it means you can do it okay before the calculator came on the scene i told you we we're using four figure tables to do um I, all those things but now we don't need them.
but there is still a, a, the side of the exams that asks you not to do, use your calculator. Okay, there's a paper that you can't use the calculator, but it is such that the work, the questions that they will give you, you can do them without a calculator. Okay, so don't think, oh, I'm not allowed to use the calculator, so I can't do much. It might even be the easiest paper to take your marks. Okay, so now 64 to the power 3 becomes 16. Okay, so if you can't do some of these things, you need to. And you, are, you need to double up and start learning them because the, these tricks you know, the better. And then you don't have to waste time uh, or maybe leaving simple questions like this and losing marks, okay? Um, thank you so much for joining me in today's lesson. And I'll see you in the next. Please subscribe, share, like, follow, however you can. I will appreciate it a lot. Okay. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.